Good morning, everybody. First day back, glad to be back. Back and recording. Um, about to start my cut. I'm gonna start recording every day now. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on every workout. Almost every meal. I'm not sure how this is all gonna pan out. I'm gonna take this one day at a time. This is gonna be, I'm gonna start recording every day now though of this cut. And hopefully you guys will be able to join me in this transformation I'm gonna make here soon with this time. So glad to be back. Today I'm doing back and biceps. Gonna take you guys through the routine, what I do, what usually works best for me. Maybe you guys could take a little bit from it all of it it doesn't matter whatever it helps you guys benefit in any way possible because i mean that's what it's really about so let's get it started after this card turns let's go ah! So, I'm gonna start my first workout with a warm up of lap pull downs, close grip. I really just wanna feel that stretch, get that blood flowing. I don't wanna go anything too heavy to where I can't do 15 really easily just cause I don't wanna pull anything. Remember, it's still a warm up. There's no reason to go heavy right now. If I want to get more views, I got to put these flies in. Hell yeah, Jake. Everybody's big in this gym. It's so motivating. It really makes you want to push yourself. All right, now we can get to the actual workout. I'm going to do four sets of 12, 10, 8, 8. As I decrease in reps through each set, I want to go higher in weight, so. Okay guys, um, a really good tip for this workout, so you guys don't end up getting like a massive arm pump, try and use your hands almost as hooks when grabbing the, the actual cable. What you want to do is you want to make sure and try and focus the pull with your elbows, that way you actually feel the contraction in your back and not uh, focusing all the attention to the grip in which you're like exercising your forearms and your biceps. All right, so for this next set, I'm gonna be doing five sets of 10 with a drop set of 10 reps. As soon as you finish the first set, just hop right into the, I guess, superset really want to feel that burn after the workout take about a two minute rest in between each set just because it could be pretty taxing on your back especially coming out from the 12 10 8 8 so just always make sure to keep the weight moderate or I mean as much as you can actually do don't try and go too heavy this drop set you guys want to make sure to keep the weight light 
because it's gonna be right after your next workout, you're gonna be tired. Anything you can do well for 10 reps is beyond good enough. You don't wanna to have to be struggling at six or seven. This is just kind of a, well it's a superset, so you're supposed to keep the weight lighter. And again, remember to pull with your elbow so you can really feel that contraction in your back and you're not emphasizing so much on the strength on your, from your arms. Apparently on set two, I'm gonna be honest, just recording and everything. Lately I've been feeling like going to the gym is like almost a chore and kind of lost sight of everything I love about the gym, but this first day back on the cut, it's got me apt. I'm really excited for what's about to come. Okay. Yeah, and that brings. Do you feel it a lot better? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely gonna give that a try then. Because what you can do is you can, that allows you to loosen your grip up. Yeah. So you don't have to hold onto the dumbbells fully. You can loosen up and really focus on yeah. pulling and then your just elbows back. Pulling with your elbows. Biceps nice, you know what? Yeah, I might try and do that because I do feel a little bit of, I guess, too much strength going into my biceps than mm -hmm. what I should Get be using to pull with. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, man. All right, dope, thanks. No I'm gonna try it out. I appreciate it, man. All right, guys. You saw me doing 30 pound dumbbells and I was doing it. I grabbed the 25 pound plates and before I could even think rationally, my ego said, oh, it's too light. And I started, I, as you can see, I almost kind of just tossed them. But when you really just slow down and focus on the contraction, that was probably the best set I've had yet because Although it was 25 pounds, I took it a lot slower. I felt where my muscles were contracting, how I was balanced with everything, and it felt 10 times better than what I would have thought. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can see that crack, but full crack down the middle. Oh, man. My bag is soaked. You can already see the water in there. I had to take everything out. It's no big deal. Not gonna stop me. But I will have to clean it up. Okay, so I got this mess cleaned up, but such a shame. My favorite blender bottle broke because it's my only blender bottle. Just trying to pour it in here and my hands are so shaky that I just got the whole floor dirty. But put it in here, so should be good. This doesn't break as easily because it's a dollar and it's somehow more reliable. Anyways, time to just clean up this whole mess I made and See what happens next. I might do one more back workout just because I'm already feeling pretty good on the back. We'll see what happens. All right guys, so for the last workout, we're just gonna be doing some, I guess they're just rows. This machine uh, never ceases to give me the pump I've been looking for at the end of the back workout. So we're gonna do that maybe four sets of 10 or even to failure. Honestly, at this point, it's just what you can burn out get the most out of your back workout with this last one.
uh, just finished back. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is arms, specifically biceps. Although I'm personally not too, I guess, apt to wanting to do biceps, I feel like it's such a small muscle group. I personally am, I'm in love with like power movements, bench, squat, deadlift. So to do something so isolated, so like, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, not that huge of a fan of arms, but that's not gonna stop me from doing them. Yeah. So I'm gonna start off with bicep curls, um, barbell to be more specific. Just gonna warm up with the bar, maybe do 15 to 20. After that, I'm gonna do three sets to failure with the drop set of the bar for 20 again. So already that felt pretty freaking good. So I think I'm gonna just add 10 pounds. That'd be 65 for failure. I could be anywhere from 15 to 10 to maybe even three. I'm joking. I dropped that immediately after did the bar 20 pound reduction for the drop set and I barely got 15 I struggled at 10 uh, regardless my arms feel freaking crazy so now that I kind of gauge that where I'm at because this is my first time trying this I'm gonna keep it at that I'm gonna push myself again to do 15s 15 for this weight and then and then I'm gonna drop set and continue. 